Okay, uh, I'm going to touch base uh, a little bit more on this three stone ring that I did the other day. I'll post a link for that one at the, the top, but uh, in order to get the prongs parametric, there's a little extra steps that I didn't do yesterday uh, that uh, you can do where the prongs will update on some stones. With that being said, I'll just go ahead and get started. Here's our, here's kind of how we got the other one started with the the cathedral ring rail and the uh, one carat in the center and the half carat on the side. Of course, what you need to do for sure is make sure everything's parametric. So we'll uh, mirror that over to the other side, hit enter. And now, uh, like we did, we're going to go back to the gems and we're going to put our gym guides on just the center stone, not all of them. Uh, like I did in the other video uh, and then bring them up and then out uh, 0.03 I think is what I did uh, so 03 and then hit enter and now you can do this one and this one at the same time that's fine because they're mirrored so it doesn't matter put our gym guides on them and then drag them up and then also offset them to a 0.3 oh, 0.3 all right, and uh, then hit enter. Now again, uh, in order to keep it all parametric, uh, we need to, uh, well, let's go to our top view. Uh, I just, I don't want those because I don't want to hit them by mistake, so I turn them on white and hide them. Go to my front view, and now we do our blending, all parametric, uh, so we go to our curves, and right at the front one, of course, we'll take this one and go to that one, We'll just hit enter for right now because I forgot to offset my rail. So let's do that. We'll offset it to half a millimeter. Change it to yellow so we can see it real nice. And now we'll go back to this curve and readjust it, edit it. And then bring that down. Bring this one down kind of close to our yellow li our line there like we did uh, the other video. And we'll hit enter and we'll just keep on uh, doing this the same, same way we did in the last video. All right, we'll go hit here, and then we'll click on that one, and then we'll click on this one here. Bring that down so far. Bring this one down so it touches our line. Hit enter, and then our last one real quick. And bring that one down. And bring this one. Now, here's the part where I, I just put circles on them, right, uh, last time. Okay, in order to make the prongs parametric to adjust to most stones, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a little bit, uh, is you have to do the uh, um, profile. So we'll go to tools, we'll go to our profile. It's just a little more work. Uh, first thing we need to do is uh, kind of uh, get our curve in the right position. So we'll just spin it around and drag it to it's right there on that line going out and then we'll change it to uh, uh, profile width uh, I think I had them at a 1.02 uh, I think yesterday and then we'll change our height also to a 1.02 which will give us the circle that we uh, had yesterday uh, and then you have to uh, drag it into place so something like that, looking down on it. And then you can just mirror it. Uh, so go ahead and just hit mirror on that one. And it'll mirror it over to the other side, which is exactly what we want. Same prong. All right, and then uh, same thing here. Hit enter and then uh, right click. And it put it over on this side, which is fine. Uh, first thing you need to do is I'm just going to drag it over to the other side here, actually. Keep them all on one side. All right, and then uh, you need to spin it, of course, so that our green line kind of goes with our yellow line there. And then hit uh, profile width, 1.02, enter. Profile height, same thing, one. 0.02 enter and then drag that one into place so that it overlaps our stone slightly and those should be fine and then of course again mirror it to the other side 
Okay, so you have four of them and the last one. And the last one, yeah, we'll just go ahead, uh, right click, click on our rail there, looking down on it. We want to first spin it so that it covers our yellow line there. And then we want to come over, uh, profile width. I'll do uh, 1.02 uh, on this one. And then also a 1.02. I think I made them a little bit bigger in the last video. And then we'll drag, oh, something's wrong here. Oh, there we go, 1.2. 1.02 enter okay and then we need to drag him into place and then we'll mirror that as well that one yeah okay uh, and hit mirror all right now uh, hit enter now do our surface uh, one sweeps like we did in the last video this is our rail, this is our first profile, it comes around, goes here. Hit enter, drag that up to 0.5, hit enter, uh, right click, do our next one. Hit that profile and that one comes around to this one here. And hit enter and drag that up to a 0.5 hit enter so far it looks okay and then our last one here this one here this one to this one hit enter drag that up to 0.5 hit enter and let's take a look at that okay so there we have our rails right so we're good to go uh, next thing we do is we take our green and go to our transform and we want to mirror those to the other side and we want to change it from uh, Y direction to X direction and hit enter. So at this point everything should be a uh, parametric but first let's put that bezel on there or under bezel rather uh, settings uh, under bezel you have to do these a little bit separately too uh, and then I changed it I believe uh, to uh, this one here and select. Of course, again, that's personal preference. You can change it to whatever under bezel shape you like. And then I'm going to drag that up around the point. There we go. And hit enter. And then we don't want to pick our mirrored stone. We want to pick our original stone we put out there. And then we'll just right click on under bezel. Go over here again. Change the under bezel to the same as the center stone hit enter uh, rotate that in some uh, drag it up something like that hit enter and now what we can do is go to our tools like we did the other video and hit match attributes we want it to go to this stone hit enter we want to select this and take the under bezel and apply so at this point everything is uh, parametric so uh, you can save at this point uh, actually you can go ahead and do the shank and everything but the shank won't update you'll always have to readjust that it won't automatically go with uh, the stones uh, but and some of the stones what I mean here is first let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about first if you update you can make the stone larger in the center hit enter go back to your other stone and uh, adjust it. And you can see the prongs will move with the stones. So everything's parametric. You can make it uh, bigger. You can change the the stones. Now uh, round to princess cut and it'll update. And you can just drag it into place wherever you want it. Uh, but the thing here is uh, you can do manipulate all kinds of stuff but if you try to go to like a marquee or pear shape it, it won't recognize that uh, there's supposed to be only three prongs on it so you you can't do like a three prong stone uh, you you kind of have to keep it to uh, 
the ones that have the four prong, but any of the any of the ones that would require a four stone four stone setting, uh, you can you can edit it to, and it, it'll automatically update. Uh, let's do a cushion cut here. Yeah, see, it automatically updates, and you can drag them wherever you want. And same thing with the other ones. But as long as there's a uh, where it requires like a, a four prong setting, what's that? I won't see it even updated, but that's kind of a bad example. That's not good. So it's uh. go back but most most of the stones you you can uh, switch it around to and it'll automatically update where the prongs will adjust and you'll constantly you know the only thing you have to really do here is just once you get that rail bit on the side is, is drag it in so it's really not a, a huge big difference but there's there's a lot uh, a lot of possibilities that make the work easier uh, to go through and manipulate it like uh, when you d you add the profiles to the rails versus just put the circle in there so I just wanted to show that and uh, hope it helps uh, and if it does leave a like subscribe and a comment below uh, thanks a lot for watching good designing